What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Lie in the morning. Way up she lies. Way up she lies. Way up she lies. Oh, lie in the morning. Aye. So, you're thinking about sustainable farming, are you? Good. It's about time we built a just and sustainable society. That's good. But how are you also mending your own clothes, boy? This, this here, the needle, she's like a sword for saving your clothes, defending the integrity of your trousers, lad. And let's be honest. You've heaped plenty of insult on those poor trousers over the years, haven't you? It's about time you did them a solid turn. Now, we all know the food system is rubbish. It's the number one driver of climate change and mass extinctions and all sorts of other bollocks. But did you know that... The clothing industry is often called by sustainability experts the world's most destructive industry. It's filled with poisons and pollutants and other peas that you don't even want to think of, lad. And they're all tied together by little girls in Indonesian sweatshops. Modern day slaves, if you ask me. Let's say you're wanting to increase the regenerative agriculture and you want to get people to grow hemp. What do you do? Do you just tell them, hey, you should grow some hemp? No, you buy some hemp clothes. You think about the clothes that you're wearing and whether or not they're sustainable. What's one of the worst crops we can grow in terms of poisons and pesticides and tillin' cotton? Aye, your blue jeans. That's right, but we can make blue jeans out of organic cotton and hemp. So, it does us right to think about our clothing more if you want to build a just and sustainable society. And one of the very best things that we can do is keep the clothing that we are wearing a lot longer than we normally do. Don't just ship them off to the landfill where they go off and pollute an African country. No, you mend your clothes. You put a new patch right on that bum hole you've got. Keep those trousers going another couple years longer. That's right, sew up them their underpants. I know how you treat them their fart filters are yours and they look disgusting. But just mend them up the same and keep them going. Stick in the scupper with a horse by bottom, stick him in the scupper with a horse by bottom, stick him in the scupper with a horse by bottom, or lie in the morning. Wait up she lies, wait up she lies, wait up she lies, or lie in the morning. Now, some people say that mending work is only for the lady folk. I think these sort of men folk are a little too insecure. If you ask me, why my own grandfather, and he was in the merchant marine and defended our nation in the war. And he knew how to mend his own socks and mend his clothes. Because sailors back in the day, they used to know the needle. Yes, they had to know how to tie knots and they had to know how to mend their clothes and they had to know how to prepare and save the sails. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Lie in the morning. Wait up she lies. Wait up she lies. Wait up she lies. Or lie in the morning. Now today I'm looking at me old favorite shirt. This here was made... In Nepal, handcrafted shirt here. It's a beautiful, all cotton, very slubby sort of fabric here that will look good for decades. But it acquired a mean tear right in the left elbow.
So, I'm putting me old leather working. Knowledge to use as well here. I've got these nice scraps, and I've cut them into elbow pads. So I'll look like a dapper Dan, eh? Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Lie in the morning. Well, up she lies. Well, up she lies. Well, up she lies. Lie in the morning. So I mended the hole. And then I put this patch on with a nice fabric glue. Yes. What's on there? Nice and good. Now first, when you... Use leather, you have to pound in the holes with an uh pokey thing first. That's what we call it the pokey thing. And then once those holes are in there, we can go back and fix it with the needle and the thread. Put them in the top and let them sleep till morning, put them in the top and let them sleep till morning, put them in the top and let them sleep till morning, or lie in the morning. Well, up she lies, well, up she lies, well, up she lies, or lie in the morning. And here it is, my finished patch. I look quite like a fancy lad for sure. You can call me Hipster Mike. Arr, by the way. Now, what is the pirate's favorite letter? R? You may think so, right, laddie? But the pirate's true love will always be the sea. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? A lie in the morning.